and gentlemen and beautiful ladies. Okay guys, today I'm going to make some salsa. Red salsa, just like out of the Mexican restaurant. It's red salsa. That's how I gauge my Mexican joints that I go to. If they got good salsa, it's got some kick, tastes good, pretty much everything else in that restaurant probably is going to be fairly decent too. So let me give you the ingredients. Go get your pencil, your paper. I got Roma tomatoes, seven pounds. Seven, you can go over a little bit, maybe eight pounds but seven to eight pounds of Roma tomatoes. Now this is my secret recipe, so I hope you all appreciate it. See these? These are tomatillos. They're not green tomatoes, they're tomatillos. You got the skin on them and all that. You need two pounds of these. Serrano. You need three quarters of a pound of serranos. I'm gonna throw a couple of jalapenos in there too because I just have them left over, but three quarters of a pound of serranos. Four or five cloves of garlic. You don't have to add the garlic, but every time I make this, I don't add the garlic. People go, man, it needs more garlic. And it doesn't even have garlic in it, so I always just put garlic in it. You're going to need some limes, probably four of them. And cilantro, right here. I usually use maybe half a clump of these cilantro. Uh, I really like it, so I really add it. It's pretty good. And the last thing I add is this right here, my fajita seasoning. It's got a little smoke flavor to it. It's got all the good stuff, but otherwise just add salt. Maybe some black pepper if you ain't got this. But you can get this on thehogzone.com. That stuff goes in everything. And the last thing that goes into this is right here. Get a whole package of, or a big, or a couple of clumps of green onions. I'll give you the exact measurements right now. Seven to eight pounds of Roma tomatoes, two pounds of tomatillos, three quarters of a pound of serranos, you're going to need a whole bag of onions, you're going to need four or five cloves of garlic, you're going to need four limes, you're going to need some salt, some black pepper, or you go with the fajita seasoning, and then last but not least, you need the cilantro. cilantro. Okay? That's it. And the cilantro, you can do, you're can you going to add that at the end, so it's not a big deal. But you got to have it in there, at least. If you're making my stuff, you do. So let me put this together, and we'll rock you right through this. Last thing, you may be thinking, man, that's a lot of, a lot of salsa. Well, when you make it like this, it, it is a lot of salsa, but a lot of people are going, it's just going to disappear. You know, I'm going to can this tonight, but... Uh, it's going to disappear. Anybody taste it, they're just going to dis destroy it. Here you got some extra and you know, your Tupperware is going to disappear. You have to go to the store and buy some more because it's all, it's all going to get eaten. Now these guys here, make sure you peel them in case you're not familiar with them. Take all this, the leaves off so it looks like that. Also pull the stems off your peppers. Okay guys, take all your tomatoes, tomatillos, and about half them serranos and throw them into a big pot and bring to a boil. Then lower it down to a simmer. All right, guys, we're going to add a little olive oil to this mini wok here. I'm going to take these serranos and I'm going to throw them in there and I'm going to get a little char on them. And you can tell these are starting to get a little char on them. See that black? That's what you want. That's that extra something's up. Okay, a few more minutes on these. And they'll be ready. <coughs> ready. <coughs> ready to go. They got some kick, I'm telling you. <coughs> they actually smell pretty good. <coughs> we are just about there. If you don't use the oil, uh, these will probably split, but the oil helps them kind of hold together. See that? They're just about there. All right, I'm going to call these done. I'm just going to turn off the heat and let them sit in the pan until the big pot right here is at a full boil and then a simmer, and then they'll be finished too. Now, you all remember, you don't have to char these peppers. It just gives it a little bit of a different kick. <clears throat> Otherwise, just throw them in with the tomatoes, tomatillos, and boil them, and they change color. You blend everything all together. Okay guys, these are done. I don't know if you can actually kind of see that, but the tomatillos here are real soft. The skin's peeling off the tomatoes. 
everything's getting to be a weird color that's where I'm going to be. I just turned it off and these are continu will continue to cook until I pull them out and throw them in the blender at this point it really doesn't matter you just have to blend everything at this point because it's all going to go into a big bowl you're going to mix it then you're going to put it you know out to serve it or put it into canning jars is what I'm going to do now here's the thing too I don't just put the blender on you know liquefy it just depends on what kind of salsa the texture you want on it so I usually just pulse it till it looks right you know I kind of like mine like a little bit thicker than tomato sauce but I don't want pico okay let's add the good stuff I'm never shy let's do the blend be careful with this guys so you don't uh, wipe out your kitchen Salsa. Now when you blend it all up, mix it all up, that's the proper proportions because you may have more garlic in this one, you know, in this blender full, or more onion or more tomato. So don't don't be freaking out if you don't taste it here and then say, oh, it needs more of this because you're not, you got to, it's all one quantity. It's kind of like a cake. But that looks pretty righteous. If I say so myself. Now this is a Texas size serving right here, so you'll need 14 pounds if you're doing, you know, for more than one guy. We can see the texture I have on that. That's the texture I like. It's not too liquidy. But I got to give it a stir, and of course, when this cools down, it'll tend to thicken up a little bit. You see all that cilantro in there. Um, I have already stuck my finger in this, taste it, and it has some kick. So if you are not a chili head, you might want to only use a quarter pound of Serrano's or use, you know, two or three of them if you're real wuss. But otherwise, this here is going to have some kick. It's going to, it's just legit. I gave it a stir, and now it's going to go into these pretty little mason jars. I'm not going to show you all that, but I will show you my world famous taste test right now. So I put a little in this nice little dish here. Got my chip. You can see how hot that is. See all that steam coming off? When it cools down and you give it a little time, all those flavors are going to meld together. It's like chili. Next day it's even better. But it is right good. It's just darn good right off the, uh, right out of the pot, out of the blender. Mm. Damn it. That's a taco truck special. You taste a little of that smoky hint from the Serranos that I burnt up in the background. Oh boy, my tongue's burning. Now it's burning all the way down my throat. This stuff's liquid gold. What can you say? It's just freaking awesome. That and a cold beer. Mmm. Now it's got some serious heat, especially if you're a Yankee. For me, it's just right. But my daughter should probably hit that and go start crying like a little girl. Okay? So just keep that in mind. That many Serranos. It kicks up the heat, but that's where it's at, man. Makes your heart race. Boom. And my face looks a little red right now. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Check out thehogzone.com. Check out the Hog Zone channel. Of course, subscribe to the Deep Fried King channel. And y'all have a Merry Christmas. And uh, i got to finish canning this because there's a lot of people waiting on it. Appreciate you watching. And that's what it's all about right there.